guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, let me just take a sip first. In this cup, I've mixed Horlicks with coffee with a hazelnut latte sachet. And it tastes good. It's 4am on Saturday right now, and I'm sat here filming a video, drinking coffee. Because I worked nights this week, and that is what life is like as a junior doctor. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is a little bit different than my usual ones I guess, maybe it's not. So the topic is one that has been requested quite a lot but one that I've kind of avoided doing because I kind of felt unqualified in a way. But then you guys have requested it a lot and I always say request what videos you want and I'll do them. The way I'm looking at this question is not how to balance it all but how do I personally balance the things that I have going on in my life right now. I guess this video is more just sharing with you guys um, the things that I've learned so far in terms of fitting in, fitting in life essentially, fitting life into life. <laughs> I really hope that the things that I share in this video help you, motivate you, I don't know what, I hope that you really get something from this video. In fact I feel like you will, I'm going to be confident and say that the things that I'm going to mention in this video are things which I think are key. You guys ask really good questions and as always it makes me have to sit down and reflect on my life and like hey how do I balance things? What are the ways in which I can actually sort my life out and balance everything a lot better? So thanks for asking this because I've had to actually sit down and reflect on how I manage my life. They're more principles than like to-do list methods um, because I think when it comes to things like this like principles are what drives you to achieve the goal. I sound really cryptic right now so I'm just gonna start on this video. So I think the first thing I would I would say is that you have to um, you have to want to. You have to <laughs> you have to want to. Those of you who requested this video you meant in relation to balancing school and fitness. So maybe school fitness and friends, maybe school fitness church and friends, school fitness extracurricular activities and friends but mainly I think it was school and fitness. For me, I love the idea of being a doctor, a worship leader, athlete, an artist, a YouTuber, a friend, a daughter, a sister, one day a mother, um, one day a wife, my God's grace. I love the idea of that. Maybe some people see my life or someone else's life and think, oh my gosh, that must be exhausting, that must be really hectic. Maybe you don't want that. And if so, that's fine. You don't have to do a bajillion different things. No one's forcing you to be in school or to study what you want to study. No one's forcing you to want to do well in what you're studying. Um, so you really do have to make that decision that this is what you want. The way I see it, when it comes to life, we get one, like one, can you imagine this is our life right now and you get one? That's pretty huge. If I'm gonna get one life, I don't mean this in a selfish way, but I kind of want everything that I could experience in this one life. All of the good things. The truth is that there is no reason why you can't. There's no reason why you can't balance all those things. And one thing I always remind myself is that a lot of people have done a lot more with a lot less <laughs> than me. You know, uh, there are a lot of people who have achieved a lot more. If you see anything in someone else that you want, you have to remind yourself that actually they're human too and um, there's no reason why you can't have that as well. I'm just gonna powder my nose because it's a bit, it's a bit shiny, I'm like Rudolph over here. Balance things in my life is that I, I decide that I'm going to. I don't kind of wait and see if it'll happen. I decide this is what I'm gonna do and I do it. So the second way in which you can balance a lot of things in your life is to realize that there are a lot of hours in a day. There are so many hours in a day that um, we are so used to saying that we don't have time, but we do. And this is something that I have to, I had to like, I think it was probably third year where I had to sit down and have a word with myself and be like, so you have a lot of hours in the day. You waste a lot of those hours. That is the reason why you feel like you don't have time. For me, by acknowledging that, I also acknowledge that actually, it's not the fact that I don't have time. I do have time. I have just as much time as anyone else. Like the saying goes, I have as many hours in a day as Beyonce. Is that what people say? Like, Beyonce literally has the same number of hours in a day and she's Beyonce, so what's my excuse? <laughs> by saying actually, it's not things that are happening to me, it's me that's happening to other things. Um, by saying that actually I do have these hours, that these are my hours to control, um, I think that can be really powerful. The next way that I balance lots of different things is that I prioritise. Um, I, qu 
quite literally write out the big priorities in my life. We all prioritize things all the time, whether we know it or not. It is simply being aware of what you're prioritizing and deciding what you're prioritizing, not just letting it happen to you. A way of knowing what you're prioritizing is knowing what you're spending the most time on and knowing where your money is going. For example, there was a time in my life when I prioritized going out with friends. I did. I wouldn't even have said to you that that was one of my priorities, but I just kind of slipped into it and let it be because I kind of let other people dictate what I did with my time. So if everyone was going out, I felt like, oh, I had to go out as well. When you'd step back and look at the bigger picture in my life, the thing that I spent the most time on or the thing that I spent the most money on was going out. And if you had sat down and asked me, what are your priorities? I wouldn't have said that going out was one of my priorities. It definitely wasn't. However, I was prioritizing that without even being aware of it. So what I recommend you do and what I try to do is that I sit down and I become aware of my priorities at that given time. And if they are not where they should be. So for example, in my life right now, I prioritize going to the gym and keeping up with my health and fitness routine over a lion. I say lion because it's not really a lion. Most people don't actually have lions. They just sleep at different times. So I probably still sleep the same amount of time as someone else. I just go to bed earlier and I wake up earlier. So I still have a lion, but no one would call a 5 a.m get up a lion but that's my priority because I really want to look after my body I want to be strong and fit and healthy so I've prioritized that so being aware of your priorities and then rearranging them taking control and actually choosing to rearrange them and one saying that I love that I love and I would love if people would quote me on this because I tell myself this probably every day is that no one finds the time for anything if you're waiting to find the time to work out you never will no one finds the time to do anything. They make the time. We don't find time, we make time. The last tip of how I balance it all is to, to be efficient. I'll just use examples here because I feel like that is the best way. If you're looking to lose weight um, through your diet and exercise, a really time efficient way of doing that would be number one, looking at your diet. Um, so meal prepping. If you want to eat healthily, while saving time. If you wanna prioritize eating healthily while still having time to do other things, that's why. That's literally why I meal prep. An hour to two hours a week cooking instead of an hour to two hours a day. If I didn't meal prep and I wanted to prioritize health eating, it would take a lot of time and a lot of energy to keep up the health eating, which would mean that my other priority of, for example, being an active member of my church would drop down because all of my time was getting sucked up in the health eating zone. So by ensuring that I am doing my healthy eating as efficiently as I can by meal prepping, I then have more time to support my other priorities in my life. Another way that you can be more efficient is by choosing your style of workouts. For example, instead of spending an hour running every morning, you can just spend 20 minutes doing high intensity interval training. Another way that you can be more efficient if you're thinking about your studies is learning how you learn best. Best way, actually, I'll let you know now. If you want me to do a whole video on how I revise efficiently, definitely let me know. But the best way is to, um, is to recall. So you actually learn more when you test yourself on something than when you reread it. I mentioned in my video of why I work out early, I save a lot of time by going in the morning instead of my gym routine taking me three hours in the afternoon because of traffic and showering and all that. Instead, it takes me one to one and a half hours in the morning. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you found this video helpful in some way. Please let me know ways that you try and balance everything in your life and um, and keep all the all the balls juggling balls juggling that was weird i see you guys in the comments and i know that you're also ambitious and hard working and you freaking inspire me you really do inspire me let me know any tips that you might add of how to kind of balance everything in life and i pray that this has been helpful to you in some way and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and click subscribe for more videos i will see you guys in my next one bye